That, that is this. Sometimes my this was that, or even an occasional there. It was easy to stroke. It is instead of its. However, again, when you or I push, we may have written it is for its and its for it is. It was not quite so easy to confuse. It has for the word its or its for the words it has. What, when, who, and which are just a shadow away from each other. So it was easy when what you heard as what to have had when or who in the notes or when what I heard as a who to have had a what or when in my notes or when what he heard as a when to have had a who or what in his notes. We have paid close attention to the differences in the strokes between who is and whose. And who's to say when you heard the word I, you might have stroked the word you or he. And it was easy when what you heard as he to have stroked the word I or you. What was easy for you to do was to hear you and have stroked I or he. I don't know about you, but what I thought when I had a U in my notes and I fit better was that I might have confused my I and you. Did you find that was the case with you too? That was what I found when there was a he in my notes and I or you fit better. I thought there was something wrong here, and that was when I decided to straighten out which stroke is which word. Now, when what I hear is a U, I get the U in my notes, not an I or a he. I practiced these pronouns because I tended to shadow my notes when I pushed my speed. I am happy, and I'm sure you are happy, too, now that what we write is what we hear, such as you for you, I for I, this for this, that for that, who, what, when, where, how, and why, for who, what, when, where, how, and why. This, that, these, those. <clears throat> these bags, that ball, this foot, see those, this chair, hit these, those times, sign these, leave this, those flocks, that sack, ask these, strike that, try these, this book, those trails, watch that, these checks, that room, those days, this horse, those girls, frame these, hold that, these boys, those facts, pull this, that booth, these sticks, this brush, those kids, that pool, plant these, Ask those, that house, those decks, this train, these chores, those stores, push that, those flames, take these, this table, those shoes, set these, this dish, these grills, those pools, these tops, this report, see that, recall that, Try those, this figure, supply that, those colors, this control, that record, those papers, this problem, 
that income, this engine, those lamps, that parcel, those comics, these units, that flower, cancel this, carry that, those boxes, this lumber, these pencils, that trailer, this roster, that expense, those masters, these faces, this legion, those outlines, this canvas, that enemy, these campers, that system, this poster, that suspect, forget this, these benefits, those gardens, these cabinets, that canopy. Of the clock, of the dog, of the sea, of the toe, of the tail, of the land, of the boat, of the skirt, of the pest, of the gap, of the fog, of the view, of the yarn, of the kite, of the wire, of the stone, of the store, of the lot, of the book, of the mail, of the cat, of the rail, of the snow, of the cage, of the ridge, of the load, of the shirt, of the hip, of the tile, of the yard, of the neck, of the stick, of the coat, of the bat, of the spine, of the stove, of the sound, of the pole, of the door, of the ship, of the man, of the sand, of the spade, of the mat, of the pants, of the tape, of the road, of the wind, of the wick, of the cap, of the jack, of the joke, of the house, of the pot, of the zoo, of the bird, of the nail, of the dock, of the rain, of the style, of the pile, of the nest, of the fork, of the shark, of the lip, of the cart, of the jet, of the year, of the pipe, of the vine, of the light, of the car. Because the <laughs> hey, here we go. Congressional warm-up. This is on radiation weaponry. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Give that a tape. Mr. Speaker, I would like to read the following into the record regarding the proposed amendments to the Act found under Clause 4. If anyone would like to review this at a later time, it can be found on page 339, starting on line 5. It reads as follows, section 90A, none of the funds that are authorized to be allocated under this act should be expended for the production of sophisticated radiation weaponry or for the procurement or design of any radiation weaponry. The only exception to this is listed below. One, if the President certifies to Congress that the production or use of such weaponry is in the best interests of the American people. Two, if the President, in accordance with the guidelines as established in the Atomic Energy Act, personally directs that any such weaponry be produced. Three, if the President submits to Congress a detailed report enumerating that enhanced radiation weaponry is necessary to secure our position as a world power. Four, if the President, after consultation with the Chiefs of Staff, NATO, and the Department of Defense, submits a detailed study suggesting that enhanced radiation weaponry would safeguard our country against warheads and or nuclear attack, 
by another nation. <clears throat> In addition, several deletions are necessary. They are as follows. Strike out lines 3 through 12, page 341. Strike out lines 9 through 11, page 343. Strike out lines 18 through 20, page 350. In addition, several revisions are necessary. They are as follows. On page 349, line 15, change the subtitle to nuclear reactors. On page 356, line 17, change the word proximity to approximately. This will bring the proposal up to date. Speaker, I would like to read the following into the record regarding the proposed amendments to the Act found under Clause 4. If anyone would like to review this at a later time, it can be found on page 339, starting on line 5. It reads as follows, Section 90A, none of the funds that are authorized to be allocated under this Act should be expended for the production of sophisticated radiation weaponry or for the procurement or design of any radiation weaponry. The only exception to this is listed below. 1. If the President certifies to Congress that the production or use of such weaponry is in the best interests of the American people, Two, if the President, in accordance with the guidelines as established in the Atomic Energy Act, personally directs that any such weaponry be produced. Three, if the President submits to Congress a detailed report enumerating that enhanced radiation weaponry is necessary to secure our position as a world power. Four, if the President, after consultation with the Chiefs of Staff, NATO, and the Department of Defense, submits a detailed study suggesting that enhanced radiation weaponry would safeguard our country against warheads and or nuclear attack by another nation. In addition, several deletions are necessary they are as follows. Strike out lines 3 through 12, page 341. Strike out lines 9 through 11, page 343. Strike out lines 18 through 20, page 350. In addition, several revisions are necessary. They are as follows. On page 349, line 15, change the subtitle to Nuclear Reactors. On page 356, line 17, change the word proximity to approximately. This will bring the proposal up to date. One more time on this one. Mr. Speaker, I would like to read the following into the record regarding the proposed amendments to the Act found under Clause 4. If anyone would like to review this at a later time, it can be found on page 339 starting on line 5. It reads as follows, Section 90A, none of the funds that are authorized to be allocated under this Act should be expended for the production of sophisticated radiation weaponry or for the procurement or design of any radiation weaponry. The only exception to this is listed below. <clears throat> 1. If the President certifies to Congress that the production or use of such weaponry is in the best interests of the American people. 2. If the President, in accordance with the guidelines as established in the Atomic Energy Act, personally directs that any such weaponry be produced. 
Three, if the president submits to Congress a detailed report enumerating that enhanced radiation weaponry is necessary to secure our position as a world power. Four, if the president, after consultation with the chiefs of staff, NATO and the Department of Defense, submits a detailed study suggesting that enhanced weaponry would safeguard our country against warheads and or nuclear attack by another nation. In addition, several deletions are necessary. They are as follows. Strike out lines 3 through 12, page 341. Strike out lines 9 through 11, page 343. Strike out lines 18 through 20, page 350. In addition, several revisions are necessary. They are as follows. On page 349, line 15, change the subtitle to Nuclear Reactors. On page 356, line 17, change the word proximity to approximately. This will bring the proposal up to date. Okay, this is jury charge form up. What's the brief for assault and battery? Assault. That's A-U-B. Where an unlawful trespass is being committed upon the property of another, the owner may lawfully use the amount of force which is necessary under the circumstances for the protection of his property, either real or personal. However, he will be guilty of assault if he uses excessive force or any force after the necessity therefore is passed. To justify a resort to force in defense of property, the danger should be such as to induce one exercising reasonable and proper judgment to interfere to prevent the consummation of the injury. Throwing a stone which is capable of inflicting grievous bodily harm at a person even though such person is a trespasser constitutes an assault if the purpose was to commit grievous bodily harm. Ordinarily, one who is in possession of premises lawfully and who has requested or ordered another to leave, whom he had a right to so request, may lawfully use as much force as is necessary to remove such other, after allowing him a reasonable time to depart, and the trespasser may not resist if only reasonable force and agencies are used or employed in making such ejection. This right applies to any property lawfully in possession. However, Anyone ejecting a trespasser will be guilty of assault if he uses more force than is necessary as when he uses a dangerous or deadly weapon unless the trespass is made with hostile intent and actual force. The general rule is that the owner may use only such force as is necessary to eject the trespasser. A man may not use a deadly weapon to resist a mere trespass, but he may resist the trespass with sufficient force. If while so resisting he has reasonable ground for believing that he himself 
is in personal danger, then he may use a weapon to defend himself and his property. <clears throat> Try that one again. Where an unlawful trespass is being committed upon the property of another, the owner may lawfully use the amount of force which is necessary under the circumstances for the protection of his property, either real or personal. However, he will be guilty of assault if he uses excessive force or any force after the necessity therefore is passed to justify a resort to force in defense of property the danger should be such as to induce one exercising reasonable and proper judgment to interfere to prevent the consummation of the injury Throwing a stone, which is capable of inflicting grievous bodily harm, at a person, even though such person is a trespasser, constitutes an assault if the purpose was to commit grievous bodily harm. Ordinarily, one who is in possession of premises lawfully and who has requested or ordered another to leave, whom he had a right to so request, may lawfully use as much force as is necessary to remove such other, after allowing him a reasonable time to depart, and the trespasser may not resist, if only reasonable force and agencies are used or employed in making such ejection. This right applies to any property lawfully in possession. However, anyone ejecting a trespass